What's up comic creators? Uh, today I'm going to show you my workaround that I do in iMovie to add multiple layers of overlays within my project. So multiple layers of videos and images. Um, so real quickly here I've got my test project open. I'm going to go ahead and drag in the first image or first overlay that I want to add to the project. Um, and then I'm going to adjust that real quick uh, to do what I needed to do. Change it from cutaway to picture in picture. Take off the Ken Burns effect. Uh, and then obviously remove the dissolve because I don't like the fade in, I like the pop in. So now I've got my first um, overlay right here. I've got it within the project window. I can move it around, get it positioned and all that kind of stuff to get that where I need it to go. And now you'll notice um, if I add in my second overlay that I want to add in, it doesn't let me do it. That's because iMovie only allows two layers within the project. So very frustrating. So here is my workaround uh, for this problem. So obviously I'm going to take out the uh, second overlay in the video right now because we're not going to use that yet for this workaround. Um, so once you delete that second overlay, uh, what you want to do is select the clip or the section of the video that you're trying to add this second overlay to. So I'm going to uh, move my mouse over uh, to where this clip kind of starts for me. Um, and I'm going to split uh, that clip and that way I can uh, cut out that part where it first starts and then I'm going to move the mouse over to the second part and split it um, from there to where the clip ends where the basically I'm I'm sectioning off the clip that um, I want to have the second overlay pop up and disappear uh, within the project so obviously for this workaround you're going to want to have at least this section of your video completely laid out um, in full and if you have audio in that um, you can uh, you can ignore the audio if you have like green audio down below it don't bother to do anything with that just leave it where it is um, and we can adjust that later and once you get that section off you want to highlight it and copy it so you can do command c to copy or you can go up to edit and click copy so once you have that section copied with the first layer, you want to get back out of your project, create a new project, um, and then click Command V. Well, click Command V or Paste, and that's going to paste that section with that first layer of uh, overlay in it right there. And then from this point, you're just going to export it. You export it to wherever you export your projects to your desktop, whatever. Uh, you can rename it uh, so you can find it easier. Um, I think I might just call this one like Clip One. Uh, because that's like the easiest thing to do right now. I'm not feeling creative. <laughs> so click one, click next, um, and then export the project completely. Um, and I'll just throw this into my desktop. Okay, so once that project has been exported, you're going to go ahead and exit out of this second project and go back into your uh, original project that you were working in. So I'm going to go into my test project here. And you'll see I've got the original clip there. I'm going to go ahead and import the new clip that I made, clip one. Uh, so I'm importing that into the new project and then I'm going to drag that over the space where the original clip was and then I'll delete the original clip and so now this new clip fits in perfectly you're not even going to be able to tell that it's split and it has the overlay one already in it and now I can drag the secondary overlay over it and adjust that as needed. Um, take off the Ken Burns and all that kind of stuff and turn it to picture picture and take out the dissolve So now I have two layers of overlays within my project that I can work with and adjust as needed So essentially um, if you're wanting to add three four five six layers of overlays to your project You would rinse and repeat this process over and over again. So you would um, Do this for the first layer get it all set up to what you need to do uh, take it to your next, uh, uh, take it to a new project, export it. The good news is, is that you don't have to keep opening up new projects within iMovie. As you do this, you can just, like with this layer here, now that I have this adjusted, and let's say I was like, okay, I want to add a third layer to this. I would just highlight both of these clips once again, copy them, uh, and then take them uh, to the other project that I have already opened. Uh, for the original clip that I did so here's the other project here, and then I would just paste it in there um, And then I would just delete the previous clip So now that other clips deleted and then I would just go ahead and export this and add on the new uh, 
uh, you know, export it, put it back into the original project and then add on the third layer that I'm trying to do. I know it's monotonous. I know it's, it's like, oh God, I gotta do this multiple times, especially if you're having like four layers, five layers. And back when I was editing with iMovie, that's what I had to do. But uh, great, great image, by the way, that I get to freeze my face on there. Fantastic. But, um, but it still uh, works and it gets the job done for what you're trying to do without having to buy into one of those more expensive editing software platforms and having to like relearn everything you've learned in iMovie right now. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm, really helps the channel. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will see you guys later.